So, Starpost was sort of a um, early 1983 Commodore original. Um, and it's sort of a play school uh, visually themed. Uh, Tempest knockoff. So instead of being at the top of the uh, climbing spaces, we're at the bottom. And otherwise, it's largely the same. We have a kill everything on the level move, similar to Tempest. Um, there are enemies that spiral in. And that's about it. There's no. The rest is missing. There's no spikes. There's no. Um, enemies that come to the top and try to grab you. You can take up to eight hits on a given level um, before you're knocked out. Uh, those are the harder enemies, those spiraling UFOs. And I find that um, mostly uh, the deal with UFOs is I just have to stop for a moment and pay attention to them and zap them as they come past. Of course, taking that time is time away from managing the rest of the enemies. Overall, though, I really enjoyed this as a kid, much less now. Uh, as I've mentioned in other recordings, I tend to enjoy games where I can win. Um, so I tend to like games that are easy, and this one fits the bill. Uh, especially back when my motor skills were still developing. Uh, it's an ideal game in structure for the paddle controllers, which are very satisfying. Uh, but the modern Vice emulator doesn't support paddle inputs, uh, except for as a mouse, and I'm not, a little, not entirely clear how to get that working. So the game also supports joystick input, which is much easier to get working, but um, it's far less precise and uh, it doesn't allow you to get far into manic difficulties on hyper mode, um, where I think the game finally comes into a little bit of its own, even if it's not a standout title. So I'm going to cut from here to um, pretty far into the game to show you the game conclusion. So, I think in Beginner there's this degenerate strategy that's possible. Um, <laughs> I kind of forgot about this. I don't think that I'm really going to ever have to apply any thought and by holding down a direction and the fire button, I think I'll just sort of kill everything indefinitely. So this is what it looks like for the game to end. Uh, once you take a hit to each one of the panel surfaces, or, oh, it's when you take eight hits. And there you go.